Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new Zara haul video. We have got a lot of newness in store for you today. So if you are new around here, hello, my name is Amy. Today we are doing a massive new in Zara Spring 2022 haul. I went on their site the other night and my goody gracious me, I might have spent a little bit too much money. There were so many eye-catching bits that I really wanted to try. So today we have had that delivered this morning and it's a big, big box. But before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate if you do like these sort of videos. I can see that most of you guys who come back to my channel are not subscribed. So please, please, if you like these type of videos, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you do want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. But honestly, guys, just clicking that subscribe button and that thumbs up as well, just the amount of help it does and it doesn't cost a thing. So I really, really appreciate it. And apart from that, let's just get straight into what I got in Zara. So something I noticed when I opened this box, which I'm I'm pretty sure wasn't the case last time, maybe I'm wrong, but Zara have now stopped. I mean, this is not, this is literally unproportionate. Zara have stopped sending in like plastic. I swear that they used to send in plastic. Maybe I'm getting it confused, but they've literally just piled it all up in this box, which I'm not mad about. So a plus for the environment. We have got some little bits of sparkle, a little bit of colour, a bit of neutral, a bit mostly neutral, you know me. So cracking on with the first item, I picked up quite a few dresses in this haul, but this one is one I was really, really looking forward to seeing. It's a super, super sweet, sort of ruffled, um, these are giving, this is giving me Mamma Mia vibes, you know, like Mamma Mia on the Greek island, that sort of style. That is how I'm feeling with this dress. I'm kind of loving the doily neck along with the v-neck as well. You have got the cuffing on the sleeves and some ruffles. And then of course the main feature is you've got these little buttons down on the waist and then the frill detailing. Now this does look a little bit short, uh, so I'm not 100% how this is going to sort of look on, but we'll have a look on the trial clip. I'm trying out a new style in this video if you like guys so as you can see i'm displaying myself wearing the item here i'll be giving you like a thumbs up thumbs down you'll be able to tell from the clip how i feel about it um let me know if you prefer this style or if you prefer when i speak over and i give you guys an actual full clip i was just finding that in the other videos i felt that it was making the video super long but let me know let me know what you think we're trying trial and error so this is called the Embroidered Collared Dress, and this is what it looks like on the model. She is absolutely rocking it. I absolutely love, love the contrast. Black skin is just so, so beautiful with white clothing. I think it just looks 10 million times better, honestly. This dress, as you can see, was $45.99. I have to, I have to get in this one. It is screaming at me and it is so beautiful. So this is the next item. I swear I don't see Zara do sparkle that much. I mean, it's a little bit Christmassy, New Year-y vibes, but then I feel like anything with sequins might be that vibe. But this is what the dress looks like. Again, impressions are telling me, first impressions, that it is very short. Um, I've noticed that it's very short, but these arm straps look really, really long and they're not adjustable. So that's a little bit concerning, but nevertheless, I couldn't not pick this up just because I absolutely am a magpie. I love a little bit of sparkle. And what I like about this is it's enough sparkle, but then it's really sophisticated with this beautiful like cream silk shift at the bottom. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up. This is called the Satin mini dress in beige dash pink and again it was $45.99 I got this one in a uh, size L by the way the last dress I got in a medium sorry I completely forgot to mention that with Zara I'm all over the shop in sizes I'm a UK 12 as you guys will know if you have been subscribed a very confident UK size 12 Zara everything is dependent on the material so I tend to find that I will upsize rather than downsize with Zara so most of these things are in a medium or a large. I'll very, very, very rarely buy a small, but sometimes it is the case. Honestly, Zara needs to work on their sizing, I'd say. For such a big company that they are, I do feel they should be doing, you know, UK and Euro sizes rather than small, medium and large. But anyway, this is a large, and I'm quite glad I bought it in a large. That's all I'm gonna say, because it is a shifty style dress. I feel this has got the room in it now to have that shift. Also, it's worth noting, can you see, there is actually splits here. So it'd be interesting to see how that looks. 
We're gonna pop in a little bit of colour in this haul. Again, I am very neutral style. I tend to not gravitate towards much colour. However, when I seen this pattern and the style of dress, I just really wanted to give it a go. It's a very, very, very loud green, as you can see. I would have bought this in a medium, but they only had it left in a large, so I thought I was gonna give it a go anyway. Again, as the style of the dress is very flowy, I thought you're better oversizing than undersizing. So this is actually called the Printed Mini Dress in Green. It was $32.99, and like I said, I got it in a large. Now I feel like this, I don't know why, it, I mean, I definitely think it is gonna be a little bit big. I can just see from the sort of top half that it's very, very wide. But what I loved mostly about it was this rope style belt. That's what was giving me again, like Mamma Mia, Greece coastal, private island vibes. Santorini, like imagine walking around Santorini or Capri in this, like that is how I picture it. So I thought I'm gonna give it a go for, for the price, which was 32.99 if I did say. And yeah, let's see how this looks on. I love the bottom, it really is. I reckon that's going to flare out quite a bit. So far it has all been dresses. I promise I do have other things than dresses, but we're still going to move on to the next item, which is a dress. I was going to either buy this one or the first one I showed you and I thought I'm just gonna try both because we're all about trial on this channel. And I must admit, I think I prefer the first one. However, this is the dress here. This is just called the Linen Blend Dress. It was $32.99, as you can see there. I got this in a size medium. Now, this is actually linen. It's not um, a linen look. It's very no stretch, very thick. I got this in a medium. I think I'm happy I got it in a medium. It will all be dependent on this chest bit here because I have got quite a wide shoulder sort of length. So if that is going to be tight there, it will clearly show. But I don't have a very big chest, so that might work out okay as well. I absolutely love the waistband and how it is very, very, very cinched in. And then we do have a sort of ruffle style skirt again, but instead of like the last one, which had like tiers of ruffle, this has just got the little frill hem at the bottom, which I think is really nice. It also obviously has the v-neck, but no like doily on it. So it's a bit more of a simpler version than the first one and yeah 32.99 so a little bit cheaper too i am so glad i got this but literally i i really hope it looks okay on me but i am not a satin girl i feel like satin just does not like me does anybody else feel the same i feel like unless you are very very small sized it just kind of grabs you all in the wrong places however when i seen this dress i was like i really want to try it and i really want it to look good because this is going to be an absolute capsule piece if it works and it looks good this is the piece here i got this one in a size large i am do, I did that on purpose because like I said, I feel like satin will grab every lump and bump. So I wanna make sure I have enough material, but this is just called the Gathered Satin Dress in White. Um, obviously goes without saying, I will link everything down below, I'll with, especially with the item code, because sometimes when things go out of stock, they just disappear on the website. Whereas if you search the item code, especially if you wanna look for reselling, um, I will make sure to leave that down below if the link does not work. This is a really, really crisp, crisp white color. So it is going to be very, very bold. It's not an off-white, it's extremely snow white. But I really, really like the neckline of this. I really like the ruching detail. I feel like that's gonna be really flattering. And I like how it's got the relaxed sort of collar as well, along with the V-neck. So really hoping this will look lovely on. Okay, we've got a little bit of a 70s, 80s throwback. Was this 70s, 80s? Was that when boiler suits were really in? I'm not very good with my fashion history. However, whenever I, I don't know why, this is never, never something I would have picked up, but the model was selling me on this one. It is a full length boiler suit. Denim, flare leg, ripped, long sleeved, collared boiler suit. This is called the full length denim jumpsuit in light blue. It was $49.99 and it is so heavy. Like this is a lot of denim. This is a lot, a lot of denim. Something was just telling me to buy this item. Something was telling me, Amy, you will be very surprised when you try this on. And I think I'm gonna really like it. I don't wanna tempt fate here, but even just holding it, a large does look big. 
So I'm not too sure how this is going to look, but again, I feel like it's a piece that definitely shouldn't be too tight. It needs to be tight to a degree, and that's where we'll find out if a medium or a large would have been better. But I really liked the fact that although it's long sleeves and it's long bell bottoms, Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I really liked this cutout detail on the waist. I feel like that is going to make this a really unique piece. And yeah, you'll be seeing the try on clip or you would have seen it already, but I'd wear it with the sort of collar open like this. It's going to be a statement. It's going to be a statement, that's for sure. I might as well go on with the last dress. I believe this is the last dress. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that material. I kind of like it, okay. So I think this is the last dress, a definitely a dress heavy haul here. How did I not think it was that material when it tells me in the title? This goes to show, do not shop late at night on Zara. Don't do it. This is the dress here. Now, oof. I don't know, that might be a little bit big. I got this in a large again, and this is called the Faux Leather Camisole Dress in a Crew. Obviously, I picked it up because I really like the colour, and I did really like the style. So, this is a normal crossover sort of square front. Now, oh, where's the front? That would be helpful. Not a square, but a scoop neck dress top bit, and then it goes down. It's sort of all the way down to your ankles, but it has got this split in it here. This is what I really liked about it. I wasn't expecting it to be this material. I think, I'm really glad I got it in a large because I feel like a medium. It would have gone one way or the other. This material can either be so forgiving and suck you in and make you look really, really, you know, shaped and feel really voluptuous in all the right places, or it can grab you in all the wrong places and show every single lump and bump, honestly. So we will have to see in the try on clip. I hope this goes well. I definitely feel like this is gonna be something you have to wear with no VPL underwear. And the price of it was 32.99 as well. And now finally, on to some different items. So, I actually picked up a couple of shorts from Zara. Now, the tailored shorts, tailored shorts in general, the place to go is Zara. They are known for how good and how lovely that they can look. Like, I really think that these are, the, again, a staple capsule piece for your wardrobe. So, these are the first ones I picked up. Now, First impressions is these look quite short, but then again, it's a very fine line again between awkwardly a little bit too long and short, short, where you don't feel comfortable wearing them. So I picked these up in a size large. I am very, very happy I did, because I would say that these are definitely equivalent to a size 12. Um, I don't think if you're size 14, you would get into these. I really want these shorts to be my style, but I'm not sure I have the right body type for it. I am very hourglassed so with these obviously the problem is is that they're never really small enough on the waist or big enough on the hips if you're a bit more straight sized then it, they look beautiful they look really good i love the details on them i got them in white they did these i think in a green and also a black but i opted for the white in these ones and they were 25.99 so again a really good piece that should last for a long time of course the buttons aren't real you do have a zip on the side so Yes, hoping that these are gonna look lovely. Similarly, 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 I can't say that word, I swear I said it wrong last time anyway. Similarly, similarly, I got these shorts as well, which the camera is gonna be muting out, honestly, any detail I have a feeling. Oh no, there we go, we got a little bit of detail. These are just a basic tailored shorts. I got them in black, they did them in white again, again got them in a large, very happy I did, would have never, don't think, got away with a medium in these. These ones have got pockets that are not real unfortunately, but they have got really nice seaming down the side, so I feel like these are going to be a lot more flattering for a body shape like mine. I feel like I need tailored shorts literally that are tailored to me. <laughs> but yeah, these are the ones I got and these guys were £29.99, so a little bit more expensive, but I think it's because they've got the stitching detail instead of the button detail, so yeah, I definitely, definitely hope these look good. And finally, on to a couple of tops I got. Now, the first top, I think this is the haul I've done the least neutral in compared to what I do all the time. Like my H&M hauls and things are just absolute neutral everywhere. So I picked up this top, gonna be a lot better to show you on the try on clip, because quite honestly, I can't even figure it out while I'm holding it. This is what it looks like on the model anyway, but this is what it looks like in real life. I picked this up in a medium, that shouldn't be a problem. It's hugely, 
stretchable um, and it is a halter neck I love halter necks I love sort of tight neck items as you can see like this I really like these necklines I think they're super flattering especially if you're somebody like me who have got who's got like more bulkier shoulders and arms like if you want to make a feature of that if you know what I mean then definitely feel like these are, are good tops for you so Yes, it is a tie up at the neck there and then it goes around, it's got a thin little strip at the back like this and then it has got a tie that will go around the back as well. So thought that that would look nice with a pair of the shorts or alternatively just a pair of jeans. It's a really nice casual piece. This is called the Knit Halter Neck Top and the colour Accru. I definitely would not say this is a crew. It's a very true like camel beige um, and it was only £15.99 so I thought I'd give it a go for that. And then finally to finish the haul, the spring Zara haul, we had to get a bit of pink. Now, this is going to be a questionable item. Not my style at all. It's very risky. Risque? Risque? Risky? Risque? Um, it is this twisted, it looks like a swimsuit, quite honestly, but it is this twisted neck bodysuit like this. Um, that is in this beautiful flamingo pink colour. Now the reason I got this as well is one, because I thought it would go quite nice with the shorts and two, this is giving me Las Vegas vibes. Going to Vegas in May, this, I, th I feel like this would be something you could wear around the strip, wear around the casinos um, and it's just kind of, it's just giving me those party vibes. But whether or not this will actually look good in practice I'm not sure. This is called the Cut Out Bodysuit in Dusty Pink and it was $22.99 and you're supposed to wear it like crossed over like that so obviously it will hide. It is double lined at the breast bit so it, it literally feels like a swimsuit, I'm not lying. But it is double lined at the breast bit so hopefully, well you have to wear this without a bra so hopefully it looks all okay. And that is everything that I picked up in Zara in this new in Zara spring 2022 haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was very dress heavy. I feel like coming into spring and summer I am going to shop more dresses because I feel it's something I'm very much lacking in my wardrobe. Zara has been always fantastic for capsule pieces. Loving the shorts first impressions and loving the patterns and things that Zara are bringing in at the moment. Zara also has got a very high turnover so one week there'll be new stuff and the next week there'll be even more new stuff and things do sell out very quickly so if you do want to shop any of the items that I have shown you guys today I will leave it linked down below and like I said if you do like these videos please hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe and the notification bell it really really helps me out and it means the absolute world and if you do want to follow me on a more day-to-day -day basis if you want to see when I'm shopping in store in Primark and places like that head on over to my Instagram which is Bella Bambina XX. And apart from that guys I think I'm gonna go make myself an iced coffee it is the weekend it is lovely and sunny outside and I'm gonna go get all my garden furniture out and just enjoy today because I'm, I'm just spring and summer ready now I, can't, I just can't wait for it. So remember to stay beautiful guys and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao!